Hi, good afternoon. Um, today we tr we're, we're going to be discussing how to get the knowledge panel to show for your business name. Generally, this is <clears throat> the knowledge panel is when you search for your business name and you have the knowledge panel appearing in the right hand side. Now, <clears throat> having the knowledge panel appear for your business name is not a given. And there are certain factors that we need to go through and obviously if you check on my website onlineownership.com you can see the exact list but these things are basically business name must match the business address needs to obviously be appear on your website and it must match the same address that is on the website so the website and the Google business page obviously your local business page must have certain details we need to check for duplicate local pages however this isn't such um, a big priority after the recent changes to the businesses business pages we need to build some authority up and obviously build our local search authority now a lot of people will say oh well, why is it not appearing now if you look at my site um, and we just search for online ownership it comes and goes my knowledge panel in the right hand side here comes and goes now online ownership itself is a very very general term so if you have another very uh, general term for a business um, and that might be something like enigma or uh, you know it doesn't specify or doesn't have a it, it's not specific and it can have multiple multiple purposes so my name is very general and for example um, Google needs to be sure that for someone searching for online ownership that they need to be sure that that is a specific business that they're showing and then they will show your um, knowledge panel now this isn't always the case because a lot of times you will have a business name which is uh, very familiar and um, you know if people are searching for that Google then knows instantly that that's a business and they will show the knowledge panel but for example my name um, it's to do with there's obviously a lot of stuff around to do with uh, vehicles digital law um, even dog ownership so um, it's it's very it's very difficult for Google to understand over time as the authority of the site builds it will appear now I'll show you for ex for example if I put in the area that I'm in Google immediately recognizes that yes that searcher is looking for that business so therefore they will just they display they display the knowledge panel immediately because Google understands that obviously in that specific instance that is the case so, um, so now I'm not saying you're going to have any difficulty but I'm just warning because a lot of people uh, get confused when they say well I've done all the done all the checklist but I'm not appearing and it all depends on how uh, general that is and it's about building your authority <coughs> so the first thing that most people get wrong is the business name the business name must match now my website obviously you can see my title is online ownership don't always rely on that please check your source so you can check your title um, this is my title please make sure that the name of your business is in the title of obviously on the front page of your website and that actually matches uh, sorry guy I should have had this open and that actually matches the name that you have on your business page so to recap the name on your business page must actually be in the title of your your website's home page step number two business address a lot of times people don't add um, and this is uh, just to this is especially crucial for new businesses a new business website Google still kind of yes you have in your business um, you have your your address and that'll be they have your full address of course 
Um, how does Google specifically know that your website is that specific one? You must understand that just by having the business page doesn't automatically connect those signals between your business page and your website. Okay, you need to create those signals. So your nine times out of ten, what I always suggest to people is in the footer of your website. Now I've got a very big footer because of course I have different things in there, but in the footer in my website, it you need to add your address. Now when we've added our address, the other big thing, and of course. Um, schema markup now is is very important and it helps all search engines not just Google but Yahoo, Bing, um, DuckDuckGo, all of these uh, understand um, very clearly and quickly who you are what you do so <coughs> once you've added your address to the footer make sure you schema mark this up um, this is also called structured data markup or it's also called um, you can also implement it in JSON LD now to just just to quickly show you I'm going to go across to Google's rich snippers testing tool or their structured data markup tester if it eventually loads let's just take this out quickly um, that should load it faster take your you can do fetches URL down here you pop in obviously your URL this is this is just to give you an idea now I have marked mine up as local business if you're a hotel there is schema markup specifically for hotels if you're a restaurant there's schema markup specifically for restaurants and there are different other schema markups um, but as you can see um, we have our name we have our address, we have our telephone number, postcodes, the area. So this all um, connects the dots between my website, um, Google, we've marked up those address. So Google clearly understands who you are, where you are. And <clears throat> that is on the footer, which will be across all your, all your pages. You can also, uh, if for example, um, you you can kind of basically do some basic edits, but you don't want to get a web developer involved. Well, then um, add it onto your contact page, but make sure that schema marked up. Now, obviously, I haven't marked that up specifically because it's all in my footer. But if you are confident enough in adding it to your contact page because you don't want to uh, obviously pay out for a developer for your footer well then just add it to your contact us page but make sure it's in there and make sure it's schema marked up so that's a little workaround but it needs to be in your site um, <clears throat> so that's the schema markup uh, on your local business page just double check that like I said um, you know your logo matches uh, there's a recognizable header um, you can also use your business if you upload images you can tag them in <clears throat> in your uh, business description you can add specific links so for example I've got yes we do have the website but I've added an additional link in there and I've added additional links um, you know in in the actual site uh, your posts um, you know you can build those up and also every time someone writes a review about your property um, that actually includes um, it actually also is included on your site and helps to build up your your branding for your site um, right so to check for local duplicate pages as I mentioned earlier this isn't much of a problem now in the last couple of weeks um, Google is uh, depreciating unverified pages and what that means is uh, without getting too too in depth here that we should have less and less a problem of duplicate business pages if you really want to um, just go through and make sure that there's no duplicate uh, business pages 
um, I created a um, you can see obviously in the page um, I've created a full list on different places and avenues on how to search the web uh, for um, incorrect um, you know duplicate pages you can also use things like Moz local um, which will also scan the web uh, to find out if there are any um, uh, you know uh, duplicate pages building local citations now what is a local citation or uh, I mean you can think of it as a business listing like your business page your Google business page is technically a business listing although it has social elements to it um, your business listing building up local citations would basically be mean adding yourself to a business listing uh, you need to make sure that your name is the same your business address is exactly matching and of course it links to your website and over time as you slowly start building these up Google will find external references online about your business the business name the business address and the website which obviously point to your site and Google starts to understand that actually you know there are more and more places that are mentioning this it could be in Yell it could be um, in different ones and again you can use uh, white spark for example has uh, or just or just search for it um, local business citations I do if you're in the UK obviously I do list uh, a lot on my site for the UK uh, but Moz for example does do um, some great selections by city and um, white spark uh, or uh, search engine land also does the top 50 for UK and US and white spark also does a whole load of selections uh, for different countries cities and localities um, these are important very very important specifically for ones like myself online ownership with a generic term if you are called um, Jim's auto mechanics um, where you are probably the only one uh, in your country or maybe one or two but you know uh, building up local citations is always very good because it helps your business page also rank better in the local packs but um, because it's easily recognizable your knowledge panel will probably be showing very quickly whereas you probably need to build up a lot more local citations and links and authority to your site to, for like myself to have your knowledge panel appear for a very general term that you've decided to call your business um, and there you have it generally um, I also show you how to add schema uh, in, in, in the um, how to test it your local business page the address check for local duplicates build your local citations and in general build your search authority over time you know this will help you regardless of just having your your name appear for your business panel um, in, in the knowledge panel but it will help your local search um, and in general help your help your business to appear better in local search so those are the general general steps um, to uh, you know and the checklist that you you want to work through but the most important I would say business name must match business address and of course make sure it's in your site uh, in the footer schema marked up or in your contact page schema marked up um, and then build some local citations and just remember that the web isn't magic Google needs to work itself through all the different data centers in, in your country <laughs> and then in the main data centers in the US and then um, obviously take that information and understand it so generally if you follow these steps I would probably say uh, you'd be looking at roundabout if you don't have a general name uh, you'd be looking at about 30 days for your knowledge panel to start appearing anyway guys that's it uh, obviously any questions you have you can um, use the messages on the bottom of um, this page uh, on our website or you find us um, find us uh, in Google Plus at online ownership um, 
you can also if you have any questions um, you know just just reach out and we'll we'll try and uh, point you in the right directions but um, yeah follow the tutorial um, you can listen to this again uh, we'll embed this into the page uh, but follow those and you're generally on your a you know on your on your way anyway thanks a lot guys have a wonderful day bye bye